السلام عليكم uh, good morning everyone today we'll continue our presentations in history taking station for complaint of vomiting uh, for definitions projectile vomiting is an intense form of vomiting bulimia nervosa is an eating disorder characterized by binge eating followed by purging anorexia nervosa is an eating disorder characterized by low weight food restriction body image disturbance, fear of gaining weight, and overpowering desire to be thin. There is a lot of causes for uh, uh, vomiting, starting with infections, gastroenteritis, which is viral, bacterial, or protozoal, food poisoning like Staph aureus or uh, uh, Bacillus cereus, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis or pyelonephritis, other GIT causes like esophageal disease, stricture or achalasia or tumor, peptic ulcer disease, small bowel obstruction, inflammatory bowel disease, mesenteric ischemia, small intestinal uh, dysmotility like in scleroderma, and gastroparesis and eating disorders like bulimia nervosa. Other causes might be uh, uh, neurological or CNS causes like head trauma, stroke, meningitis, or ink flights, increased intracranial pressure, either to intracerebral due to intracerebral hemorrhage, mass, lesion, and hydrocephalus or pseudotumor cerebri, migraine and seizures, also other metabolic disease like pregnancy or hyperemesis gravidarum, diabetic ketoacidosis, uremia or uh, uh, adrenal insufficiency, hyperthyroidism, paraneoplastic syndromes, and parathyroid disease. Vestibular disease like labyrinthitis, Meniere's disease, and motion sickness also can cause vomiting. As uh, uh, other causes like medications, like chemotherapy, antibiotics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, anti-arrhythmics, anticonvulsants, digoxin, opiates, or illicit drugs also can cause vomiting. Toxins like organophosphate or pesticides can cause vomiting. Any visceral pain like pancreatitis, appendicitis, hepatitis, renal colic, pelvic colic, cholecystitis, and myocardial infections, all visceral pains can cause vomiting. Other causes like excess alcohol, radiation, or acute glaucoma. As differential diagnosis, gastroenteritis, it will be acute and associated with diarrhea, fever, and headache. Peptic ulcer disease, there is history of peptic ulcer or use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or bloody vomitus. For bowel obstruction, it's associated with colky abdominal pain and feculent vomitus. Labyrinthites will be associated with uh, vertigo. Increased intracranial uh, pressure, it will uh, be, character of the vomiting will be projectile and early morning pregnancy also causing vomiting in early morning. Start the station uh, with the introduction or sit, then followed by dialogue and closure. For the introduction, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Hadidi, SHO of Internal Medicine Clinic. Then confirm patient details. So you are Ms. Dina and you are 39 years old. Build good rapport, please have a seat. May I sit beside you? and explain note taking. If you don't mind, I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential. Then agree the agenda. I have received a letter from your GB stating that you have vomiting or throwing up. Is it right? For the dialogue, start the dialogue with the present history and uh, presenting complaint. Can you tell me more about your vomiting? Can you tell me about the first time uh, this happened? Think about your most recent episode of vomiting. What did you do that day, starting from when you wake up in the morning? Then, uh, when do you usually vomit? If this vomiting is before breakfast or early morning, think in pregnancy or increased intracranial pressure. If the vomiting is during or directly after eating, think in uh, psychiatric causes or peptic ulcer disease. If it's one to four hours after eating, think in gastroparesis 
or gastric outlet obstruction. If it's continuous vomiting, think in conversion disorder or depression. How many times did you vomit yesterday? How frequent do you vomit in a day? Uh, do you think it is related to meals? Very important. Have you recently consumed any unusual food? How long before the symptoms uh, was the food consumed? And when you don't vomit, do you feel sick? And if female, of course, ask, could you be pregnant? And uh, for analysis of the presenting complaint as a numeric odbara, we'll start with the onset. How did it start? Did it start suddenly, uh, like in cholecystitis, pancreatitis, food poisoning, gastroenteritis, or even illicit drugs? Or is it start insidious, like in gastroparesis, medications, metabolic disorders, or pregnancy? Did the duration, when did the vomiting start? How frequently you feel this vomiting and progression? Is it becoming worse or improving, or is it the same? For aggravating factors, anything brings it on, anything makes it worse. What makes it worse for the regressive factors? Anything makes it bitter. For associated symptoms, do you have associated diarrhea and fever, like in gastroenteritis? Do you have acid regurgitation, bloating, or distinction, like in gastroparesis? Do you throw up a blood or buzz, black, tarry? stool, hematemesis, uh, like in peptic ulcer disease? Do you have headache and next uh, stiffness, like in meningitis? Have you noticed any weight loss or loss of desire to eat, or loss of appetite, like in GIT malignancy? Do you have jaundice or yellow sclera or dark urine and light stool, like in gallbladder stones? Do you have chest pain or cold sweats? like in myocardial infarction. Also ask, do you have associated tummy pain, abdominal pain? And if yes, analyze this pain. If the pain in right upper quadrant, think in biliary tract disease or cholecystitis. If it's epigastric pain, think in pancreatic disease or peptic ulcer disease. If it's severe pain that precedes vomiting, think in small bowel obstruction. Ask also, when you stand up, do you feel lightheadedness or dizzy? Think in adrenal insufficiency. Do you drink water or have your water passage uh, uh, more than usual, like in DKA? Do you feel cold hands? Does the color of your hands or legs change with cold weather? Have you noticed that your skin is tight around your mouth or in your hands, like in scleroderma? Uh, other specific questions in present history uh, ask about the description of the vomit vomitus itself. What is the color of the vomitus? Is it coffee ground like metamesis, fresh blood, green like pile contained vomitus, or feculent? Does the vomitus contain partially digested food like in gastroparesis? Does the vomitus contain green pile like small bowel obstruction? Is the vomitus feculent like in bowel obstruction, is the vomiting projectile like increased intracranial pressure. After present history, we'll go to past history. Have you ever been diagnosed with any medical condition? Have you ever suffered acid reflux? Have you ever had gold bladder stones, inflammation of your pancreas, high blood glucose or kidney disease? Have you uh, had been diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease? Have you ever been diagnosed with cancer? Have you ever received radiation treatment? Also ask about endoscopy. Have you ever had any surgeries in your tummy? Any endoscopies? Have you ever had examination of your stomach with lightened uh, uh, tube? What were the result of the endoscopy? After past history, we'll ask about medications and allergies. Are you currently taking any medications? What medications are you taking? Any over-the-counter, any herbal remedies? Ask specifically about opiates. Are you currently taking opiates or chemotherapy or any antibiotics or any 
pain killers or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Also ask about proton pump inhibitors, if there is a history of taking proton pump inhibitors for peptic ulcer disease. And do you have any sort of allergies? Have you ever been diagnosed with allergy? Then go to family history. Ask about, are there any similar conditions in your family? Does anyone in your family have stomach problem, colon problem, or cancer? Does anyone in your family have gland problem, immune disease, or joint problems? Then go to social history. Ask about uh, drinking alcohol and uh, as a screening for uh, uh, too much alcohol intake, ask about cage questions. Have you ever felt uh, you need to cut down on your drinking? Have, you, uh, have people annoyed you by criticizing your drinking? Have you ever felt guilty about drinking? Have you ever felt you need a drink first thing in the morning? Uh, like eye opener to steady your nerves or to get rid of hangover. Then smoking, do you smoke? How many cigarettes per day and for how long? What do you do for living? What kind of work do you do, uh, especially for healthcare settings and around food uh, uh, workers? And again, don't forget to ask about pregnancy status. Could you be pregnant? At the end of the dialogue, ask about ideas, concerns, and expectations. Uh, what do you think might be causing this problem? Uh, are you worried about this being anything in particular? What do you think might be the best plan of action? After that, we'll go for the closure of the station, start with summarizing the main point. May I take a moment to summarize, uh, summarize uh, what you have told me so I can check that I have understood everything that's important to you. So uh, uh, is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important? I think you have a disease called scleroderma in which the skin is more tight and it's, it affects the uh, uh, movement of your bowel and make it slow. I will examine you first we may need to do some tests in the form of blood test and may do some imaging. This can be done on outpatient basis. Then we'll decide whether to admit you to the hospital or you can continue your treatment as outpatient basis. Uh, then Council on Health Promotion, there is some advice I need to tell you about. Too much alcohol is not good for your health and I'm going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Is there anything unclear you need me to clarify? Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. Thank you so much. And uh, these are some uh, presentations in our free medical courses channel. Thank you and see you soon, inshallah.